What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart. And um, ah. feels good. I'm feeling good. I hope you guys are doing good. Are we about to get into this one? The Flash. Finally, it's out. Went to go watch it today. 15 of the 6, 2023. And it's my birthday. What a day. What a day. What a day. So we watch The Flash. And we're going to start this off, you know, with my spoiler-free review. Yeah. And what I'll say about this movie, The Flash, is it is like... Somebody went into a bar. Looked at all the cocktails. And then started pouring everything into the cocktail. Some of the most expensive drinks. Some of the cheapest drinks. I mixed it up. And then tasted it. Hmm. Needs a little bit extra. Add a little bit more. And then taste it. Now, some people would like it. Some people won't. That's how I see this movie. Was it a good movie? Was it a bad movie? It was It was good. It was good. Um, I wouldn't say it's a bad movie. I wouldn't say it's great. But it did everything I needed it to. Uh, I wouldn't put it anywhere near, say, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Because this seemed very similar to Spider-Man Across the the Spider-Verse. Very similar. Travelling to multiverses. Disturbing time. Meeting with people. In different multiverses. Them coming to help you out. Having to lose somebody. In your timeline. And then it shows that. Everybody. In a particular timeline. Has to die. In order for you to become a hero. Happen with Batman, happen with Flash, happen with Spider-Man in all different universes and multiverses and timelines. So this is what, it just seemed like a very similar movie, right? But it's tough when you've just watched Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and that movie's up here. And this movie, The Flash, is about here. So I would give this movie a generous... 7 out of 10. Because Supergirl was amazing in this movie. Amazing. What did you do? She was good. Michael Keaton Batman. Wow, bro. When you saw him in action, he even fought like... The original Batman. Back in the day. I think it was 1990 or something like that. He was the best thing about the movie. Was Michael Keaton Batman. And the thing I like about this movie. Is. It felt like an extended version of the trailers we have watched. Because if you've watched the trailers. For this movie, you've pretty much seen all the best action bits. But if you want to have more context into the events of what is going on, then you watch the, want to watch the movie. But if you don't want to watch the movie because you don't have much time or money is tight, go watch the trailers. That's pretty much the film. The film is in the trailers. That's it. The opening sequence for this movie was incredible. With um, Batman, Ben Affleck Batman, and The Flash... That opening sequence was godlike. The only thing I'll say is the outfit for Ben Affleck Batman was the worst Batman outfit ever. It was really, really bad. Other than that, the movie was amazing. Well, not amazing, sorry. 
I get carried away because I'm thinking of the intro, the beginning, opening sequence. Movie, 7 out of 10. Good movie. I didn't, as I said, I didn't hate the movie. I didn't say, think it was, it didn't blow me away. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Right, but it was still good. And you see a lot of scenarios with what if scenarios that will make you be like, wow, what if? And the bit that is sad is the fact that this closes the book on the Snyderverse. It's over. Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, Ezra Miller, Jason Momoa, um, Ray Fisher. Everybody. It's over. It's over. And it's sad, but we have to get over it. We have to get over it. Henry Cavill, Superman, it's all done. That's my spoiler-free review. Because there's so much that I can't say anything. Because anything I say is a spoiler. Right? The best thing that I could say is, if you've watched Across the Spider-Verse, this movie is like a lesser version of that. Would I recommend you go watch it? If you've got... Absolutely nothing to do. Nothing. At all. Think about it. Check your diary. Call somebody. And if nothing comes up, then... Sure. Yeah. Go watch it. If money is tight, don't watch it. But if you've got a lot of free money, a lot of disposable income, check your bank account. See if there's anything else you'd like to buy. And if there isn't, yeah, sure, go watch it. So, yeah, that's all I've got to say. You like some Michael Keaton Batman? You want to see if this new Supergirl is worthy? They are definitely worthy. They're the two best things about the movie. Yeah, I would say The Flash is the most irritating thing about the movie. Yeah, but he does... Sort himself out, basically, when he gets meets against the younger alternate multiverse version of himself. He matures. He does develop through the movie and it is really good to see the way he matures and he becomes less obnoxious and less irritating as the movie goes along. And he's bearable. But, you know, if you've been following all the situations that's been happening with this guy. If you wanted to skip this movie because, hey, it's a long story, bro. And you know about it already. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. That's all I've got to say about it. Warriors, we're about to do... A complete review with spoilers and everything. So if you want to join me for that, please do. I look forward to talking to you about it in the comment section. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So until then, take care, stay blessed. And hopefully I'll catch you in my full complete spoiler review. Laters.